Hey everybody and welcome to my video. Today we're going to work on using a green screen and an application called Google Earth Studio. It's a great new application that's available from Google and is only available by invitation. And I think if you ask uh, for an invitation and say that you're in education, you'll have a good chance of getting in. It's a very, very powerful tool and I'm going to use it to take you on a tour of Hong Kong where I've been living for the past 11 years. Hong Kong was established as a special administrative region under the British rule in 1841. And as you can see during our flight in from outer space, Hong Kong is incredibly small. Hong Kong is only 1,104 square kilometers in size with a population of 7.5 million people. By comparison, New York, which is 783 square kilometers with a population of 8.6 million people, and Los Angeles with an area of 1,302 square kilometers and a population of 4 million, Hong Kong fits somewhere in between these two. But Hong Kong is the fourth most densely populated places in the world. We are now hovering over Victoria Harbor, looking at central Hong Kong, Wan Chai Hong Kong, Causeway Bay Hong Kong, and eastern Hong Kong, which houses the largest number of skyscrapers in the world. Now as we fly away from Hong Kong, we move towards an area that I live in, which is completely different from the high-rise buildings, but is an area of jungle, and trees, and mountains, water reservoirs that provide fresh drinking water for Hong Kong, and a remote area. I live in a place called Cyclone Country Park. And as you can see, it's an area surrounded by jungle. My house, in where I live, we deal with monkeys, cows, pigs, snakes, and wild animals. It's completely different from the Hong Kong scene in movies. And right now, we're flying over Saikung, we're flying over my village in uh, Koh Tong Ha Yung. It's a small village, about 30 units of houses called village houses, which are standalone buildings, each with a square foot of 720 square feet and can be no higher than three floors. And as we fly back towards Kowloon, which you'll see in a moment, you can see that we are very remote, which is really nice for me because I get to experience both the mega city that is Hong Kong and a remote countryside life that has been great for my children to explore in and grow as children. We're just passing over Sai Kung, which is the closest town to us where we go for our grocery shopping and eating restaurants. And now we're flying over Kowloon, which is the other part of Hong Kong. Kowloon is the mega city that is on the mainland and is home to what used to be the uh, walled city, which is an amazing place that no longer exists. And we're back over Hong Kong where we started just a few moments ago. And in a moment, you'll see my school. There it is. This is where I work. It takes me about an hour to drive here each day. But the contrast between my home and where I work couldn't be more different. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.